based on the policy, this user will log in and he will do his day-to-day -day operations. We are going to create groups. Inside a group, users will be part of it. This user could be a UI developer. This user could be a backend developer. Hence, it's called dev team, dev group. Here we have security. We have security engineer one, security engineer two, senior and junior. For them, we will create one group. Security people will be part of security group. Cloud team will have part of cloud team, cloud group, like this. Perfect. Now let's get into the hands on. I'm sharing my main screen. Click on sign into the console. I have went to the browser. I typed aws.amazon.com slash console. I see this page. I clicked on uh, sign in. I see two users. The account what you created is called root account. And you have to provide the root user credentials here. I would like to use another credentials here. For example, I'll use my own credentials. I am trying to log into AWS as a root user. This is my root user. The moment you log in, you will be part of console homepage. Left corner, AWS icon. The moment you click on this, this console homepage will be refreshed. Next, after that icon, you have services. If you click on services, you see list of services which were provided, provided, provided by AWS. If you go to each service, we'll have subservice. Now, what we have searched is whatever I'll get it from here, from service to subservice, I can get it from here. Instead of with the mouse I navigate, I search here. I will search like this. With this particular string, whatever is matching, all the details I'm creating here. I can go to this particular service. Close. Then you have CLI. This is called CLI, command line or terminal CMD of our shell you have in your Windows, right? Similar way, AWS is also giving you CLI. This is a Linux operating system, it is open. Here I'm executing a command called AWS space, IAM space, list type users. I can talk to AWS with the help of two ways. One, with the help of mouse, I can go to IAM. I click. I can click on users. See, I'm clicking on users. And I'll be able to see two users. Same information I'm able to see with the help of a command. In your Windows, will you do the same thing? You open a browser? Or you, with the help of mouse, what you do? Now you look at here. I click. With the help of mouse, you create a folder file. With the help of command line, I can do the same thing I'm saying. In my Mac machine, in your Windows machine, or whatever the machine you have it, here I can create a folder with the help of commands. ABC folder, I can create it. If I hit enter, the folder will get created. So whatever the action, what we do with the graphical, we can do with the command line in your operating system itself. Similar way, AWS is also designed. Whatever you see graphically here, how many users you see? Two users. How many users you see here? Two users. Joel is one user, Keshav is another user. Here also you see the same. Two users. From the day one itself, I'm making you to understand two different ways to access AWS. One, through graphically what you already have aware of in your windows. Second thing I think you have never tried. You never created a folder or file with the help of commands in your windows. Right? That you have to do it. From now, you have to learn two things. We can create things in our own laptop or desktop with the help of graphical, with the help of command line. Similar way, you are going to do the things in AWS.